So till now, yes, please. Till now, we are done with the transportation problem, right? In which we have done northwest corner rule, least cost entry method, Vogel's approximation to find the initial basic feasible solution. And then we have find the optimal solution. Either you can say it is UV method, right? Or it is MODI, Modi's method, both are same. That we have found to make a loop to enter in the positive entry. So in today's class, we are going to start the assignment problem. As its name indicates, assignment means that means you have some jobs and you have some machines. So how you allocate the jobs to the machines so that your cost should be minimized or your profit should be maximized. So it is a particular case of your transportation problem. Like you write the LPP of transportation problem that is minimized summation I varies from 1 to M, J varies from 1 to N, C, I, J, X, I, J, if you remember, subject to summation X, I, J, that is equal to A, I, that you have done this is your transportation problem if you remember for your balanced transportation problem right so since we are saying that assignment problem is a particular case of your assignment uh, transportation so assignment problem will be the same if your m is equal to n that is the number of sources will be equal to the number of destinations and each AI is equal to 1 and each BJ is equal to 1 and your XIJ either 0 or 1. Is it clear? So your problem transportation will tends to your assignment problem. So the LPP corresponding to that, it will be this. So here, you have this is equal to 1. This is equal to 1. This XIJ is either 0 or 1. Is it clear? Yes or no? So, because you are saying every availability, why you are saying it is one? Because one at one time, you can assign one job to one machine only, right? You cannot assign multiple jobs to, uh, sorry, multiple jobs to one machine or multiple machines to one job, right? That's why your AI and BJ is equal to one in this case. Is it clear? The same is this thing. Like we do in your transportation problem, that if it is maximization assignment problem, convert it into minimization. Converting to minimization is remain the same process that we have done in transportation. Either multiply all the cost by negative sign, ya cost may se kya choose kar loge? Highest cost choose kar loge and you will subtract correspondingly cost of every cell from that cost. Convert it into minimization assignment problem. Here, check it is unbalanced assignment problem or it is balanced assignment problem. Here you are checking the unbalanced and balanced is if your number of rows is, is not equal to number of columns, then you have your unbalanced assignment problem. If you will have number of rows is equal to number of columns, that will be your 
balanced assignment problem, right? So if it is unbalanced, you have to convert it into your balanced assignment problem. Is it clear? Then you will go for optimal solution. Is it clear? So if the problem is unbalanced as well as maximization, so firstly you will make it un minimize, then you will make it balance. Don't reverse the step. Because if you have cost 0, 0, leoge, dummy ke liye, that will be your maximum when you subtract kar doge usme se, right? So, we will follow the Hungarian method to solve assignment problem. Should I write the steps first? So find row minima that is find minimum element from each row minimum element from each row and subtract it from the corresponding element of that row. Second step, find column minima. These are the steps when you will convert your problem into minimization and balance. Then you can apply your Hungarian method. That is, when you are finding the optimal solution, then you are applying your Hungarian method. So find column minima. That is, find minimum element from each column and subtract it from the corresponding element of that column. Third, draw minimum number of horizontal or vertical lines. Draw minimum number of horizontal or vertical lines. To cover the lines, I am denoting it by capital N. To cover all the zeros. Four, if the lines drawn N is equal to N or M because it is your balanced transportation problem, then do the assignment. Otherwise, find minimum element from uncovered elements otherwise means when your number of lines drawn will be less than your order, right? Find minimum element from uncovered elements and subtract this element and subtract this element from uncovered elements and add it to the intersection of Add it to intersection of horizontal or vertical line. Repeat steps 3 to 5. If the line drawn is not equal to the order of the matrix. Is it clear? Yes, these are the steps. We will do an example so that it will be more clear.
until n is until n is not equal to n until n is equal to n that means if your number of lines drawn will be equal to the order then you can do the assignment and then you are done right so we are going to do which job which job should be assigned which job should be assigned to which person which job should be assigned to which person so that total profit is so that total profit is maximum and the question is given to you that these are the persons on this side and these are your jobs so the persons are and the jobs numbered as 1 2 3 and your fourth the profit this is 42 30 30 24 and this is your 35 25 25 20 this is your 28 20 this is 20 this is 16 21 15 15 12 so this problem you have to solve that you should how you should assign the persons to some particular job so that your profit should be maximized can you apply your hungarian method no because in the cells what is given to you profit is given that means the problem is my maximizing so we have to convert it into my minimizing how can i convert it into minimization so i can subtract every cost from the highest element so what is the highest element 42 so your minimization problem will be so these are your persons a b c d and this is one Two, third, and fourth. So this is forty-two minus forty-two. That will be your zero. Forty-two minus thirty-five, seven. Forty-two minus twenty-eight. That will be fourteen. Forty-two minus twenty-one, twenty-one. Forty-two minus thirty. That will be twelve. This will be twelve, eighteen, seventeen, seventeen, twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-two. Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty seven, and thirty. Now the problem is your minimizing, right? Is it balanced? Yes. This is my balanced transportation problem. Sorry, balanced assignment problem. Now I can start my Hungarian method to apply. So what is the process that we have to find the first row minima? what will be your row minima that you will find the minimum element from each row in the first row what is the minimum element zero so if you subtract zero from every element it will remain unchanged what is the minimum element from second 12 so 12 minus 12 this will be 0 17 minus 12 5 that will be 10 this will be your 15 and the minimum element again from the third is 12 this will be 0 5 10 15 and this is minimum element from your fourth row is 18 that will be your 0 4 8 12 well. so now this table has been converted into your row minima then you have to write the column minima so what will be your column minima in the first column what is my least element 
zero, so it will remain unchanged. So that will be zero, 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 and zero. What is the minimum element in second column? Four. So that will be your seven minus four. That will be three. One, one, zero. And what is the minimum element in third column? That will be your six. This will be two, two, zero. And now, what is the minimum element? Twelve. That is your nine, three, three, and zero. Is it clear? Yes or no? Now you have converted your problem into minimization. It was balanced. Apply row minima. From the row minima, you will go to your column minima. The next step is you have to draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines so that you can cover all the zeros, right? So now you can see from here. अगर मैं horizontal line draw करती हूँ तो कितनी zero कटूँगी? Cover होंगी. Only your one. But if I draw the vertical line, how many zeros will be cut? Four. So you have to draw the minimum lines. So instead of drawing the horizontal line, I will draw my vertical line. Is it clear? Now, if I cut if in this zero, if I draw a horizontal line, oh sorry, vertical line, only one zero will be covered. But if I draw a horizontal line, how many zeros will be covered? Four. So you will draw horizontal line. So this way you have to draw. मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ हॉरिजॉन्टल एंड वर्टिकल लाइंस टू कवर ऑल द जीरोस आपने कितनी लाइंस ड्रॉ करी हैं हाउ मेनी लाइंस यू हैव ड्रॉन टू इज इट इक्वल टू योर ऑर्डर ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स फोर है दिस इज नॉट इक्वल टू फोर दैट मींस एट दिस स्टेप द सॉल्यूशन ऑप्टिमल सॉल्यूशन कैन नॉट बी ऑब्टेन सो व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप Choose the minimum element from the uncovered element. What is the minimum element from uncovered element? One. The step is subtract it from the uncovered element and add it to the intersection of horizontal and vertical lines. So three. This will be zero. This will be zero. This will be zero. And the minimum element is one. This is the intersection of horizontal and vertical line so you will add one over here clear 3 minus 1 this is 2 6 minus 1 5 8 0 0 0 1 1 0 2 2 0 2, 2, 0 is it clear so again you have to draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines to cover All the zeros. So if you draw the lines, if I draw a vertical line, my three zeros will cover. If I draw horizontal line, my one zero will cover. So I'll draw this line. Is it clear? Now if I draw here vertical line, my three zeros will be covered. If I draw horizontal line here, my one zero will be covered. So I'll draw my vertical line. Here, if I draw horizontal, one zero will be covered. But if I draw, sorry, if I draw horizontal, my two zeros will be covered. So all zeros are covered. Yes or no? So what is the number of lines drawn? Three. Is it equal to four? No. That means again you have to do find the minimum element from the uncovered elements. so what is the minimum element one you will subtract it from the correspondingly uncovered elements this is 4 this will be 7 this will be 0 0 1 1 here it is 0 0 this will be 2 0 0 this is the intersection of horizontal and vertical line so you will add one over here so this will be 1 this will be 1 plus 1 2 and all other elements will be zero is it clear yes or no again draw the minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines to cover all the zeros should i draw vertical or a horizontal line vertical line 
should i draw vertical or horizontal now either you can draw horizontal or vertical because in both the cases your two zeros are cut right so what should i draw horizontal in the next row if you draw vertical line one zero will be covered but if you draw horizontal lines your two zeros will be covered so i'll draw horizontal line in the last to cover this i have to draw minimum lines so this will be horizontal line not your vertical line is it clear yes or no so now how many lines you have drawn four if you have drawn the same number of lines the minimum number of lines aisa nahi hai question khatam karne ke liye pehle hi char lines draw karo aur keh do question khatam ho gaya theek hai the thing is you have to draw minimum number of horizontal or vertical lines so that your zeros should be covered right so now if you draw in this case vertical line this you have drawn now in the next case either you can draw vertical line or you can draw horizontal line but here you have to draw vertical line because you have to cover three zeros instead of one zero now in this case either you can draw horizontal or vertical if you draw vertical aapki sari matrix cover ho rahi hai but still i can draw horizontal to show you that it is not necessary that whole matrix should be covered but whole zeros should be covered is it clear so when your lines drawn is equal to the order of the matrix then you can do the assignment how you have to do the assignment that is left in the step how you will do the assignment that assign zero starting from the minimum zero in the concerned row or column and cut all other zeros in the same row or column so how you will do the assignment now you have to search a row yes fine so now how you will do the assignment तो यू हैव टू सर्च अ रो जिसमें आपके मिनिमम जीरोज हैं तो फर्स्ट रो में आपके कितनी जीरोज हैं इन द फर्स्ट रो हाउ मेनी जीरोज यू हैव वन दैट इज द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ जीरो सो यू कैन डू द असाइनमेंट दैट दिस इज माय असाइनमेंट एंड कट ऑल द जीरोज इन द कंसर्न रो और कॉलम राइट इन द सेकेंड यू हैव टू जीरो इन द थर्ड यू हैव टू जीरो बट आप पहले असाइनमेंट कहाँ करोगे जहां पे आपकी मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ जीरोस हैं सो मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ जीरोस आर इन रो फोर दैट यू असाइन दिस एंड कट द कंसर्न जीरोस इन द रो और कॉलम इज इट क्लियर यू हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द रो जहां पे आपकी मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ जीरोस आ रही होंगी जैसे आपकी रो वन में कितनी जीरोज हैं वन 
रो टू में आपकी कितनी जीरोस हैं थ्री जीरो थ्री रो थ्री में आपकी थ्री जीरो थ्री रो फोर में आपकी वन जीरो थ्री सो आपको वहां जीरो असाइन करनी है जहां पे आपकी मिनिमम है मिनिमम कहा थी रो वन में सो आई हैव असाइन दैट जीरो एंड कट ऑल अदर जीरो जो आपके उसके ऊपर या रो में या कॉलम में आ रहे होंगे इज इट क्लियर R4 you have to. That's why we have not done assignment over here. जब आपने ये करा अब आपके पास यहाँ थ्री जीरो यहाँ पे भी टू जीरो है लेफ्ट यू आर लेफ्ट विथ टू जीरो टू जीरो टू जीरो देन यू कैन डू असाइनमेंट एनी वेयर ठीक है अगर आप यहाँ पे असाइनमेंट करते हो हेयर यू हैव टू जीरो टू जीरो टू जीरो कोई भी आर्बिट्ररी उठा लो सो दिस विल बी जीरो ओवर हेयर असाइन then this will be cut this will cut is it clear ab aapki minimum zeros kahan hai row 3 mein so this you will assign zero this will cut so how you are assigning that the person a should be assigned job 1 b person should be assigned job 2 c person should be assigned job 3 and d person should be assigned job 4 so that your profit can be maximized is it clear yes or no so what will be your maximum profit in this case add the profit which is corresponding to these cells is it clear so what was the profit in a11 that is my 42 plus 25 plus 20 plus 12 this will be your maximum profit is it clear yes or no you have to correspond to if you are starting for finding the minimum zeros in the row you have to go like that agar aap column se shuru karoge zeros find karna minimum you have to go column wise is it clear so some remarks or the questions related to this can also come or the points over here so the first thing is what will happen what will happen if job fourth cannot be assigned to third person so the question is what will happen that if i have not to assign job 4 to my third person so in the optimal iteration you have seen ki aapne jo fourth job hai wo aapne third person ko assign nahi ki right so in this case there will be no change in the assignment i am saying there will be no change in the assignment so in this case you have not assigned fourth job to the third person so there is no change in the optimal assignment second what will happen if fourth job cannot be assigned to your fourth person is it clear ab jab aapne job fourth fourth person ko assign kar chuke ho na that means your whole optimal solution will change so how to deal with such situation that when it is given in the question in the starting that it should not be assigned to that particular job
what was your minimization problem if the question is given to you that you are not allowed to assign the fourth job to the fourth person so when you will start finding the solution this will be your infinity or you can put dash so that your fourth job should not be assigned to the fourth person the same question can come in this way ki agar aapne second job third person ko assign nahi karni to second job aur third पर्सन के लिए आप क्या डाल दोगे इन्फिनिटी या डैश तब आप सॉल्व करोगे तो आपको वहां पे कभी भी जीरो नहीं मिलेगा एंड यू कैन नॉट डू द असाइनमेंट आगे का प्रोसेस खुद कर लोगे दैट फाइंड द रो मिनिमा फाइंड द कॉलम मिनिमा राइट ड्रॉ मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ ऑरिजोंटल एंड वर्टिकल लाइन एंड प्रोसीड इन दैट वे राइट द थर्ड इज वट विल हैपन when you will convert it into even after your balanced unbalanced tab aapne infinity karna hai jab aapne hungarian method lagana hai usse pehle aapko infinity karna hai bas theek hai so proceed as above jo aapki assignment aa rahi hai if you will assign wo pehle hi column minima lagane ke baad hi aapki shayad assignment aa rahi hai a is assigned to be first b is assigned to be second d is assigned to be third And your C is assigned to be fourth. These are your optimal assignment in this case, right? The next is what will happen? What will happen if fourth job should be should always be assigned to? अगर आपको शुरू में ही दे दिया जाएगा कि आपको हमेशा ही फोर्थ जॉब जो है वो फोर्थ पर्सन को ही असाइन करनी है दैट मीन्स इफ आई एथ जॉब शुड बी ऑलवेज असाइन टू जी एथ कॉलम इफ इट इज इट गिवन इन द स्टार्टिंग सो हाउ यू विल प्रोसीड दैट Question is given to you that you have to always assign fourth job to the fourth person. So, your matrix may say fourth job or fourth column remove. Will be removed, and then you will apply your Hungarian method, right? If the question is that ith job should always be assigned to jth person or anything, so ith row and jth column will be deleted. and then you will apply your hungarian method theek hai yahan pe agar aapki assignment hogi to d aapne pakka hi fourth job ko assign karna hai to wahi wali assignment hi aayegi jo aapne nikali thi is it clear the cases i am discussing not for the given problem ye agar aapko starting mein hi given hai then you have to proceed like this right the last case is suppose an additional person suppose an additional person becomes available becomes available for performing for performing all four jobs all four jobs at respective at respective profit 60 45 30 and 80 is it economical is it economical to replace is it economical to replace one of the current one of the current four persons 
with the new one. Here you can take these are your cost, respective costs. And the problem is that you have four jobs. Uh, this is A, B, C, D. And these are your four jobs. First, second, third, and fourth. The cost are here is 50, 50. So this is the problem given to you and now the costs are given to you because you have already told that the costs are and this problem you have to solve. Here they have already dashed here. That means first job should not be assigned to third and third job should not be assigned to your fourth. Now they have said that if one more person is available, so I am naming that person if the available person is E and the cost respective to do these jobs, this is 60, 40, 30 and 80. Then is it economical to replace one of the current four person to the, the new one? So this is your minimization problem. This is okay. This is my minimization. Can I apply the Hungarian method? No, because it is not my balanced trans balance and assignment problem. So how I'll make it balanced? I'll add one dummy column. To make it balance, baki sari entries meri kya ho jayengi? Zero. Is it clear? Yes or no? Now it is minimization and balance. Then you can apply your Hungarian method, right? You can apply yourself. I am uh, writing the solution. In the last assignment, you will get that first job should be assigned to E. Second job should be assigned to D. Third job should be assigned to B. Fourth job should be assigned to A. And your fifth job should be assigned to C. Is it clear? Right? So you can notice there. Does there exist any of your job fifth? Aapki fifth job exist karti hai? Jo aap C ko assign kar rahe ho. Iska matlab ki aap jo aapka naya person that have that has been assigned, that can do four jobs, that is economical, that you can replace it with the C person. Is it clear? Yes or no? So you can write here since there is no job so no job is assigned to So, no job is assigned to C. Hence, C can be replaced with the new person E. Economical kab nahi hota? Agar aap E job ko, agar wo fifth job assign ho hoti, then it is not economical to Replace that E person with one of the current persons. Okay, thank you.